Alright guys, I'll be back. Okay, so a lot of you were asking, like, was I ever going to revisit, um, Chris Ron, right? Because that's one of my other decks I used to play, like, like quite often when I was trying to perfect. I was playing with, with, the, with frogs. Um, okay, right here, I wasn't sure what I was doing. Um, I, I was just, like, I think this is, like, the first game I, I, I was like, oh, let me see if this works. And uh, what I noticed is that this guy is quite important because it lets you tr it's just trigger, summon your, 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 your Price of Turtle and your and your Smiger and you just get them to the grave so you can utilize the grave effects and then it just becomes like another, another material so you can go um into Brax if you open up the tuners because that's one of the biggest issues with this deck like you open up your seed trees and like it is really really annoying <laughs> so like what you would do is like if you open up seed tree and you open up the turtle you summon turtle make this activate um press the turtle and special the tuner and then go Brax and then that way you summon the Ryan Ryan will summon the 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 green the green I'll just I'll just call them by their names okay by the green okay so so you, you get the concept right it's right here there was no point in me doing Excel play like there's no reason <laughs> I don't have no idea why he did this it was just I don't know I just I don't know but luckily um he didn't like do not have any follow up like his ash is his, his mining and just, just that's it <laughs> and it's like it's this is not really OTK it's like more it's more like set up oh right here I. I, I, like I was looking away and I think I didn't get to see the reveal so I was like oh yeah I was meant to like ash that thing you know and then he goes um in from the the racks right so like this is what's cool about it like this is what this this archetype was the answer for uh, dimensional barrier because dimensional barrier were like just a completely obliterated synchro the synchro mechanic because they just call synchro and you can't do anything whereas this okay I can't synchro during my turn that's fine I can just synchro during your turn which is like a big deal at the time so then I go for it and then little by little it's like more like a snowball effect type of deck like you just j gradually just like hinder your opponent you give your opponent some weird setup to play around like you see what I mean like look 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 at this that's so cool look the fact that you can trigger C3 chain Quandax and then you and then so then you still get to summon the, the, the target off C tree because it still resolves as much as possible, right? So then the C tree won't be there anymore, so you just it's just a floater on board. Like that's just really, really good. <laughs> and just do that from this game. And then we go to get game two. I can't remember. Look at that chalice. Chalice is pretty cool. I have to be real. This is what I mean. This is the biggest issue for for um for Krishron. When you draw onto your tuners, like you just don't want that to happen, like ever. Crash. Crazy. He goes for it. This is pretty cool. Watch. What I like about this is that you can go. You can go um Brax chain Nibiru and then the, the the synchro won't get tributed which is really really cool <laughs> just go off right what does he have again he has impermanent yeah he's impermanent I was really scared if he had um roar look at that that's so cool man and then I go for a former trigger draw and he imperms it I'm like okay that's interesting confused yes So cool, little intricate, intricate plays you can do. It's really like it's, a, it's, a, it's an odd deck, honestly. It's a really odd deck. Look, like, yeah. See, you have a setup right now. So now, look. It, all I gotta do is make sure I interact before he goes for a link, because I know, like, I play something, so I, I know what they're trying to do. I know the little, the little, little traps they try to set up. And while I was like, worst case scenario, that's a roar. So I was like, <laughs> I gotta make sure I make, I have a Quarian Gandrax play. And um and then I have um let's see what I mean. How cool is that? I a, a perfect scenario. Okay, he, uh, this negates the will, and that's all I'm gonna. I don't care about anything else. Because I was in grave, I don't care about anything else. I just, I just gotta negate will. That's it, and and it'll be over. He tries to bait me. <laughs> This match is going to be quite crazy I, from from memory. I think I think we don't get to finish this match. I'm I, I think, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but he's playing Karmaka. And that's like interesting cuz I guess you can finish all the copies but like look at this. It's a little, a little pretty cool setup. You just gradually build up your your board. Like that. 
Look at that. How cool is that, man? Look at that. <laughs> That's freaking awesome, dude. See, like once you once you establish your 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 setup, like like once you just sequence off, right? Your first sequence is initially to set up for the following turn to just like it's basically you get your opponent stuck in the mud, like just just like gradually, like little by little, just like okay, picking the board apart, pick, pick it, just chip at it little by little until you out resource them with your cave effects, and that's the style of of, of first round, what, what it's meant to be doing. It's not as aggressive as Synchron. Synchron's way aggressive. Cause it's, it's just pretty much you just do your whole hand turn one. Look at that. It's basically over. Ends up scooping. I think this is the one where it's this 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 one was insane. I think this game was insane. <laughs> what is your mill? Pretty cool. Yeah, I, I'm playing the scrap engine in this deck because it's why wouldn't you? It's like, you know, it's why. Like, why, why would you not play it? In fact, look at that. That's so cool. Look at that. He vanishes it. I was like, okay, it's fine. I, 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 like, I'm gonna have enough bodies to live for the following turn, so I, I should be okay. Live. Okay. Yeah, that's all you want. That, that, that's all you want with Krishkron. As long as you live, you just generated enough resources from the grave. Like, look at that. Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. Just just cycle it through. You just finish it. He negates it. <laughs> he just scoops because like, I'm too tired for this. But then, yeah, I, I'm not sure if he could have done anything after that. Because then I had, had quite a pretty good setup. I still had a Smiger. Yeah, I set another trap. Yeah, no way. I'll hide the hand so it won't be like as as obvious. You 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 be like just spent the same as that one. Do this. Cover the grave. Do this. I was a bit rusty because I, I could like I haven't played it in such a long time, so I was like kind of felt kind of weird sequencing off. Like oh, oh yeah, this and then a little bit. You can see as I'm, as the games go on that I get more comfortable with it. I start to like yeah do some pretty clever plays. I was like, no, keep your knight, dude. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't mind keeping it. Yeah, because I need to make sure you don't discard with, with Greffer. He just scoops. Like, no way. Look at this. I opened up so good. Oh my god, look at this. I was debating whether to Nibiru or to evenly match. I wasn't sure what to do. But yeah, I think I just go ahead and Nibiru. And then he just goes, yeah. See what I mean? Like, this is the worst case scenario for these type of decks. Drawing your seed tree, drawing them. And I just bait him. Look at that. <laughs> I just straight up baited him. <laughs> oh my god, it's so crazy. Look at You see what I mean? You see exactly what I'm talking about? That's why Amaraj is so important in this deck. That's so cool. Like Brax, look at that. How cool is this? Look at this, man. They just make it do some crazy things. Look at this. Oh, this is oh right. This this is where um the new ruling hit where uh where if the monster is not where it's meant to be when it's when it's meant to trigger, then it won't activate because it's it's meant to be there at the present time it's it's meant to trigger. So for example, right here, I um uh, Corin Gandax was summoned in the in, a, in the middle of, resol of a resolving chain. So that means uh, it, it can't activate while the chain is resolving. So then you gotta wait till the thing should resolve. But by then, it's no longer in the field, so it can't trigger. And that's why I was like, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, but it was, oh, it was also dumb. On it. it's, it's okay. I'm like, that's whatever. And so he goes for that big ass guy and he just wins. I was like, okay, okay, sure. So we get game two. He crows. I, I do that. And I try to initiate a setup. Where I do the same thing, right? I try to go have a point in play. Yeah. Because that's all you want to do with this deck. You want to set up a Corrin Ganrix or a Trist or a Black Rose or just have some sort of like, uh, like give your opponent an odd an odd scenario to play through. Yeah, like, this is weird. 
Yeah, I, I, I forgot how fun crush runs were. You know, it was just just so cool. And I was like, oh wait, I'm locked into the machine because I used the effect. I was about to go Trish. And he tries to survive, right? He tries to survive, but I'm like, it should be over. This was gonna be against like a like a back row deck. It's gonna be against like Guru. So you'll get a you get a sense of an idea of how, how it fares against like a back row deck. Cause like that's what the majority of these type of decks struggle. Oh, this is not so much, cause it, you can be conservative, you're passive anyways. So it's not like you just invest the entire hand and not get rewarded. Like that's the good thing about this, this archetype. You, you just like extend and then you just have your your grade to fall back on. And there can only be one. I was like, well, my entire deck is uh, if I was, if I played a phoenix, if I played one, this is what this scenario made me want to play a phoenix at least. Like for this, because okay, there can only be one. There's like draw machines. Like I was like, okay. And I was waiting for my Dynamiscus, right? Because I made like um, Dynamiscus. I was like, okay, maybe I can get Dynamiscus. I was like, no, let's go to game two. And look at this. Look at this. This, this is so cool. I like how this has so much ba Ash Bait. Look at that. That's so cool. That's the one thing. When this got released, I was so happy and excited for this for this one. Because there was times when you had a level, se level 7 play. But all you had was like a samurai destroyer or like or that one um, um super heavy samurai guy but like now you have this and it stops evenly like that's just crazy man look at this how cool is that he strikes this i'm like okay that's fine negates it and be passive i just negate it It is good. That Samurai Destroy is amazing. It's still good. It's still like a generally good card. It's a good level 7. Because if it destroy it, it just floats. And that's what's really good about it. Samurai to this. Oh, this one. This game is insane. Oh, yeah. I remember this game. This game was crazy. This is a crazy game. Why? Well, you'll see why. And he goes, fuck, tack, tack. I'm like, oh my god, here we go, dude, here we go. Oh my god, <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Look at this. And I made, and I, and I make um one big mistake. I, I wasn't meant to summon this 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 guy. I, I was, oh yeah, I was not meant to summon this guy. Yeah, I shouldn't summon that because I was not, I was not, I was game with it. I knew he had that. I was like, no! <laughs> Alright, so here's a deck list. Okay, so um, I maxed out all the other Crystrons, right? Even even at Turtle. Um, you just you just want to see a Crystron with this guy, basically. Just want to be able to just have access to it. And the fact that you can just special the Citrus that you hand now because of a because of Almirage. We didn't have that back then. Back then we was like, okay, well, we draw the Tuna, we can't really do much. But now if you draw the Turtle, you don't need to see this guy. You can just summon it, link it away, link it away, and then special the Citrus, right? Or special the Ryan if you want to play multiples. Um, but yeah, because the one the one thing this this deck kind of loses to is like like an over like any other deck like it's it's overwhelming and that's what Nibiru is meant to be. It's it's meant to, um, I guess, help out in, in in that in that in that um I guess in that in that aspect right. If you get overwhelmed by like a, a, like a like a, he like a com more more combo heavy deck, then you just um. Nibiru them right and like the, the little play you can do with Brax um, by just go chaining one then chaining two it's it's quite cool because you just you, you can save your formula save your Quandex save your Excel you know like little things like that are quite important in in, in a certain matchup and then you play this generically Ash right you play Ash Ash is generic a call with the great because you you need to make sure that your your, your things resolve you don't want to like not be able to synchro on their turn that's really important. And then um, I'm a bit iffy on the scrap on on the scrap engine, honestly, because like it's cool, because like it, I don't know, it's like a, it's more it's more it serves more of a purpose of like a spot removal than a, than a combo extender, because like after you summon this guy, like I mean I guess you can go Omega, and then uh, this guy sends um because you know, like typically what ha what happens with this is you you link up into a Palooza, right? That's what you do. You link up into a Palooza to like to to further extend and go on a hundred. But for this deck, it serves more as just like spot removal and then just synchro into level 8. 
and then um, they're sending either whatever you're missing and then continue on from there. You know, it's more like a, like a puzzle piece, more like a, like an extender. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm not sure. I guess you, maybe you can cut it. Maybe you can cut this and put like another Brax because uh, br the, the second Brax does come up. Or, uh, or the second um, Quandex or the, uh, the second in Matrix comes up as well quite often. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. It just, it, it, I guess further, further testing will just, I guess, determine what we need and what we don't need. Like, like any, any other day. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, so the trap line was very, like, very basic. You, you have your three reborns basically call, call with haunted. Well, more like escape from dark dimension. You just special them in a, a, a banished Christron, right? And a good thing about this one is you can, like I said, you saw in the video on the last one. Unfortunately, I lost, but like, you can bring back Brax. So that's really, really good. <laughs> it's like, you just keep using his effect. Which is quite awesome, which is why I, I, I'm kind of hesitant if uh, on playing the second one because you can just revive it. So as you know, you don't really need that much. So I was like, yeah. Um, and then your impermanence because it's just a, it's a generically good hand trap. And then I I I've been liking Dynamiscus a lot because it's still like against Winda, against Construct, against Solid, uh, against it's just uh, against Mystic Mind. It just it's just an overall good card because you it's basically free. Like it's just so free. Like. Because this is a grindy deck, it's not meant to TK. So you just gradually like uh, generate resources through your effects in the grave, right? So like, let's you discard this. You just you discarded what you wanted, anyways. You just add add another another Christron, and then when this and then this revives itself, which is cool. The minute you activate a, a Christron impact or uh, impermanence, you just revive it. Like it's just it's just it's basically free. You're just basically flipping and banishing a card on the, on the field for free. With no cost, and that's really really cool. Um, but yeah, and then uh, you play a uh, anti spell, just like side deck, right? <laughs> it, 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 I think it's, it's it all just change it up, like change it up however you feel like. But I think this, this is a pretty solid build. I like the build. It feels pretty cool. Um, the extra deck varies, like I said, the scrap engine, or scrap is set. The scrap combo can be, I guess, changed. You can take it out. But I think it's pretty cool. It's like spot removal, and. Um, but yeah, so yeah, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed, enjoyed the video. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed um, this concept and try it out. I'll put the link in the description. So you can go ahead and um, get a, get the download link for the for the book. Um, oh, oh, one thing, uh, this card you need to be playing this card too because again, it's good. Eldritch, Eldritch is is in, like there's some. I was I was getting some games. I'll try to get some more games where you just chain to chain to the the continuous traps. The one that banishes, the one that pops. It's so good and it, it just it gets banished. It's, it's gone forever. Like they don't they, they don't get the grave effect. Which is crucial. Um, but it's, oh, and also this card. This card is amazing against that matchup. Like it's so good. If you end phase them, dude, or if you can uh, protect your setup, and then end phase, just banish all the stuff in the grave, all the stuff in, in, in their spawn travel zone. Like it's just brutal. <laughs> but anyways, that's gonna be it. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe if you haven't. And thanks for watching.